Welcome Thunder community to uh, Thunder Talk. We've got a uh, special guest with us today that um, actually is going to be playing in the state golf championship next Monday and Tuesday at Flying Horse um, right here in Colorado Springs, actually at, on our kind of home turf if you would say, right? Mm -hmm. Wouldn't it be? So that's pretty cool. So this is Cade Ford and he he uh, and the rest of the team, um, there's three other qualifiers with him that qualified to play in the state golf tournament um, next week. But before we get to that, I just want uh, Cade to kind of give us a highlight of what's been happening with golf, um, just how the boys have done, um, and we'll um, and then we'll kind of explain what's going on at the state golf tournament. So, yeah. how's the season been? So we've been having a really good season actually. Um, we've taken third in almost every event, every varsity event this year. Um, we're ranked third in PPAC right now, and we have we've had a uh, we had a really good chance to take PPAC and regionals this year. So. Yeah. That's awesome. And so regionals, you guys were kind of in the hunt there for a little bit mm -hmm. and stuff. And, and um, but everybody qualified, right? Correct. So you got four people to states. So which is what they qualify for uh, golf. Um, and so how many kids are going to be playing at the state golf tournament next week? Do you know? Um, I'm not exactly sure. Um, at least 100 kids. Okay. Overall. So next Monday and Tuesday at Flying Horse, um, you know, the golf tournament starts, I think they tee off like at about nine, eight something, between eight and nine. Um, but what do you think about that, playing here on your home turf? Um, it's really exciting. Um, I've played that course thousands of times. Sure. And um, it's, it's a huge advantage to play on your home course because you know where to miss the ball. You know um, the good and bad of the course. Yeah, yeah. And it, not, not only an advantage maybe for you, but for Discovery Canyon in, as a whole, right? Oh, yeah. Your other guys and stuff that are playing with you. So you've got Lucas, Josh, and who's your um, um, Scott Levesque. Scott Levecki. So we've got those four guys going after it uh, this week, right at Flying Horse. If you get a chance, I know that they. What would be one thing that you would maybe want fans or people to do next week, Monday and Tuesday? Just come out and support. You know, it, it doesn't have to take very long. Just come out and watch a couple of holes. It only will take half hour to watch a couple holes if sure. you're playing well. And, um, you know, that's not a huge time commitment. So just come out and support. That'd be, uh, that'd mean a lot to all of us. Yeah. And, and kind of our theme this year, just coming out and supporting kids. And, and like Kate said, you, you know, 30 minutes, maybe you catch one or two holes, um, see some of the kids playing and, and it's just awesome to see kids in that state environment. It's fun to play mm -hmm. in and stuff. So, um, so we wish him and, uh, coach and, all the golfers the best of luck uh, next week. So um, they're actually looking for some volunteers. Um, if you can score golf or you just want to walk the course for a couple of days or a day, um, they're looking for volunteers. Contact Flying Horse or you can contact Chassa as well. And um, just uh, they just need some people to help score, you know, um, spot balls, things like that. So if you get a chance and you got a day you want to give, that'd be an awesome way to give back to the community and um and these golfers and stuff. Mm -hmm. So we wish them well. And thanks for joining us. There's a ton of activities. Um, we're on the road a lot this week, but we got uh, two home volleyball matches this week. And we got a home softball. If you get a chance, get out and get out and support somebody. Um, but hopefully we'll see you next week over at Flying Horse. I'll be there um, watching these guys. And so it should be an exciting time. Thanks.